Okay, the next one, collection. So on the collections report, it's a little bit different, right? So it's similar to the AR Aging Detail, but it's grouping by customer. And I'm going to do all dates. So here it's grouping by customer. So before it was grouping by 31 days, 60 days, whatever. Now it's grouping by customer. It does include the phone number on there. So I do like the other report where everything's on one line. Um, but it is helpful because then you can go down and start calling on the list. Right? Bill's Windsurf Shop, here's my phone number, start calling. Freeman Sporting, here's my phone number, start calling. And it has both invoices in there. Okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to get rid of. There we go. Okay. So if I delete my days past due, minimum days past due, then it'll show everything, right? Because this one is negative 30 days past due because you guys saw me create that invoice. But I want it to still show on here because when I call Amy's Bird Sanctuary, maybe I say, oh, you've got $459. It's 18 days past due. But by the way, you also owe me $91,000. <laughs> So maybe not as important about collecting the 459 right now if they owe you $92,000 basically. Also, you know, you have to gauge your time. So 44 days past due for $85, it's not a lot of money. Maybe we want to write that off instead of hounding them. You know, you can make decisions with this report too. Let me go back to my collections report and look at our customization over here. Um, so on the customization report period, right, you can change columns in here. You can add a whole bunch of different columns if you want to. There's that ship via. We can add in our ship via. We can add in the sense. We can add in the memo description. Um, we have our aging, which we talked about already. And then we have filters. So the filters part of this is what I wanted to show because they are a little bit different. So in the collections report, I can filter by customer, which would be weird, um, not customer type or something. But I can filter by terms. So this is also where it would be great to use like N30 versus Net30. Um, you can also filter by due dates, okay? So good to know where you can get to these reports. And it's 